Welcome to Pop Culture Retro, which was recently voted the 15th best podcast by the residents of the Golden Years Retirement Community in Boca Raton, Florida. Each show, we'll revisit some of your favorite pop culture memories with insider and outsider perspectives. Now, please help me welcome your hosts, Ike Eisenman and Jonathan Rosen. Hello and welcome back to part two of our pop culture retro podcast discussing the Disney theme parks. I'm one of your hosts, Ike Eisenman, and I'm here with Jonathan Rosen. We were last discussing the ever-evolving nature of the parks. Well, you mentioned like, you know, some of the rides that they've done away with here, which I you said, I think it's still at California is the Mr. Toad's ride. I, I was devastated when they took that away from here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. Such a fun ride. I, oh. I don't, I just did not get that. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know, maybe I, you know, they've got Winnie the Pooh, but Mr. Toad must, the Pooh have right been, now, right. it must have been a little bit too, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was just too wild or too scary for the, you know, for the younger kids that are, you know, they, they need stuff to do too. <laughs> but you see, when you go in the ride, by, by the way, and, and I'm sure every, all the Disney people know this too, you still see the, uh, the picture of Mr. Toad handing the deed to Winnie the Pooh in one, in the Winnie the Pooh ride. Yeah. On one of the walls is the Mr. Toad uh, yeah. picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> but another one that another one that uh, I loved here that they got away with was which skit was the Snow White ride, which scared the hell out of me as a kid. But oh, that was a great ride. Yeah, it was really terrifying. I mean, much yes, more terrifying than the movie was. Maybe that's why they did away with it. But it was... God, yes, I do remember that. Yeah, absolutely. So you've not been. You obviously haven't been here since Star Wars Land. No, I would, I've not been there, and I, I have family that went. They love. The Star Wars. They said it was unbelievable. It's like one of the best things ever. Uh, have, have you been there? I mean, you've oh seen yeah, it I, I have seen it a few times. Um, uh, yeah, we, is it that see, great? It is. It's awesome. It is awesome. Okay. It's it's some of the best park design work you're going to see. Period, because it's just it's very much the art design. You know, from the films, the entire the entire area is themed that way, and all the shops are themed that way. Everyone wow. in that everyone in that area dresses. The, the, I mean, they created, uh, you know, really outstanding. Um, let's say costumes, but you know the, mm -hmm. the 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 workers, you know, people who work there. Their the uniforms are all themed along the Star Wars line, and um, you know, just just coming around the corner and seeing that huge Millennium Falcon sitting wow. there life-size <laughs> um it might not be actually life-size but it's monstrous and it's so detailed and it's so you get to go through the at, millennium falcon right you can walk you, through it you don't walk through it no it's you just it. it's okay. just a set piece that but but the line for um for one of the uh one of the rides there uh goes around it and and so you sp end up spending a lot of time walking around it and you can be close to it even though it's kind of roped off or you know, to keep people from probably pulling things off of it. But um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, I, I, it's, it's an amazing experience and it's really immersive. You go through a little tunnel and you come out and you're in Star Wars land, like, like, just like that. Well, what about the ride itself? I mean, I, I've seen some of the clips on, on YouTube about the ride itself. And I have it not been on, unbelievable. I've not really? been on the latest one. Nope. Nope. Could not do it. It is so, uh, it wasn't open. Okay. Year before last when the when our uh, grandchildren were here, uh, we saw Star Wars Land for the first time. So we had a great time. But the newest ride was not open yet. Um, it opened subsequent to us being uh, them being here. And then when it opened, uh, like I said, the way they restrict these things, my wife's uh, main gate was blocked for an indetermined period of time because there was so much <laughs> traffic going to that park that we were not allowed to go to to go to um, Hollywood Studios period on her on her pass we could have bought tickets if we wanted to that badly but you know we're patient we can wait we're going to be here for a while <laughs> so we we weren't able to and then when um, her grandchildren came out this was just a, a few weeks ago just last month um you know we're still in you know the i'd like to say the tail end of the of the pandemic uh it, even though they have disney world has increased their um their 
capacity, capacity i guess up to 35 right. percent or something like that mm -hmm. um everyone who goes to hollywood studios wants to do that right and i know nothing about course, it i've not seen course. anything i kept myself i kept myself in the dark because i just want to experience it when i get to so i don't know i don't even know what it is but the only way that you can get tickets to that is uh, get entrance is the first thing in the morning. You have to go on your right. <laughs> app experience and you have to tap in that you want a, a time and they all fill up within 15 seconds of, right. of I heard that. the park opening. So we had seven of us, or wait, we had, there were four of us all trying at the same time every day to get it. And we, we just couldn't do it. So <laughs> it's going to have uh, to, that's... it's going to be a while before I get a chance to see it. I have to see that ride too. I mean, I, I that's one of the things. What okay, now I'll ask, what's your what are your must go tos? What are your must go to rides um, each time? I th I have three, but I want to hear yours. I Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster is my favorite. I think it's the best roller coaster I've ever been on, and I'm not a roller coaster guy. Um, generally speaking, uh, I, you know, I've been to Universal which is mostly a roller coaster park other than their themed areas as i'm i'm sure you're aware of uh most people go there you know for the fast crazy crazy rides but my favorite use uh used to be space mountain and it's so funny i'm stumbling over myself saying space mountain because i always want to say witch mountain um so <laughs> yeah. yeah space mountain used to be my favorite i just thought it was genius it's in the dark you, you know you can't see the structure you feel like you're in space but com for me, compared to Rock and Roller Coaster, it's like a rickety old wood frame roller coaster. <laughs> and I felt like Rock and Roller Coaster was what Space Mountain wanted to be, realized <laughs> in a different format. Um, and for those people who are, are listening who have never had a great opportunity to visit these parks, Rock and Roller Coaster is in the dark. You're slingshotted out of your sitting position by a going from zero to like 65 miles an hour within a second and a half or something like that. And then you're launched into, into this dark space and it's quick. It goes, it's over quick, but God, it's, to me, it's just absolutely exhilarating. I, I'm going to, I'm going to break in there before you go on to the next No, slide. go for it. No, please. I've, I've been on rock and roller coaster once in my life. I can't do it again. <laughs> oh no. My heart, my heart was pounding. <laughs> <laughs> when I, when I got and I'm not a roller coaster person in general, but my heart was pounding, and I, I hate them even more when they go upside down, and that that one does. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I, I I was like when I wanted to bend down and kiss the ground when we got off. And I, I told the kids if they want to go, it's them. You're not going. I'm not going anymore. <laughs> okay, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> that's it. And even Space Mountain to this, like I said, I'm so and I've been on Space Mountain plenty of times. I don't like going anymore. I'm, I'm past the age of enjoying these things. Yeah. And that's it. I'm done. I, my roller coaster days, I think, for the most part, are done. And, yeah. well, and Space Mountain is really not anything, but I'm sitting there in the in the dark, and this is embarrassing, but I, I think my eyes are like I'm counting the seconds till the ride's over. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> get me, get me. And my kids love it, just absolutely love it. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I do too. I do too. And <laughs> what I, I just, I, I think coaster design has just advanced so much now. I mean, with obviously with computers and computer simulations and being able to figure out the, the, the physics of these things these days. Um, I'm not a big fan of going upside down either. And I, I went on the uh, way back in the day when, um, you know, it's now Six Flags Magic Mountain out in, it used to be Valencia, California. When that park first opened, I, I don't even remember what it was called. It wasn't even called Six Flags at the time. But anyway, the Revolution roller coaster was the very first one in the world that did a complete loop. And you wow. did go upside down. <laughs> and that thing was scary to me because you when you go on the whole ride, the whole ride is just to go on the loop. Everything else is just kind of zipping around, but you hit that loop and you go up 
and it just hesitates before it comes back down and you feel like you're hanging there like you're going to fall out of your car <laughs> and so it's it's it i had a love-hate relationship in it because it really was terrifying but obviously you know no one's been hurt it's nothing's ever happened it's it's a it's it, it's a really but, great right but i don't want to be the, the first one that's oh <laughs> yeah, i know i don't want to oh, be the one in the news yeah you, <laughs> You're as pessimistic as I am. I always think it's <laughs> it's going to happen at some point. It it's going to exactly. be me. Yeah. And I can't do I can't do Tower of Terror, which I think is now Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't do that that drop. I've also that's another ride I've only done once in my life. I said so no more. And I thought the Tower of Terror the I thought the whole thing the Twilight Zone thing was was fantastic. I thought it was brilliant. They did a great job setting the atmosphere, walking through, you know, creepy and then the you know the the elevator shaft the falling, but that was it. I, <laughs> that because you're lifting up off the seat and you're hanging there, like in the cartoons, you're suspended in air for a second. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's oh, it. Yeah. I, I can't do that. Yes, they've they've changed it. Thankfully, when did you go? Did, did you go out when they had a, a bar that came down to help hold you in, or did you have the seatbelt? I believe so. No, I think it was a bar. It's been a long time. Yeah. If so, see, that's the first time I went. The actually the. I think I've been on it twice. I went on it a second time. I'm not good with drops either. It, it's not It's not a really fun thing for me. But the first time I went on it was when they had the bar that came down to hold you in your seat. And a friend of mine from Los Angeles had, had come to, to go to the parks with me. And he and I are about the same size because I'm small. I'm only 5'4". And he's about the same height I am. And we were sitting in a in a row, and the way you're, as you know, in in, in on that right. ride, there's it's three across, or four across if you have four small people. But we were sharing our seat with a rather large man, and they pulled that bar down, and it stopped on him, but it left a gap <laughs> like this that, just that, that we were both holding on to and looking at each other and thinking, okay. And when we dropped that first time, both of us were out of our seat. Both of we we lifted <laughs> off the seat this much, and I'm grabbing onto it, and he's grabbing onto it, and we're going up and down. He loved it, and I thought I just knew I was going to die. I was going to come <laughs> flying out of this thing, and of course it was going to be you know which mountain star splattered on Tower of Terror. <laughs> it just really terrified me, so I did not want to go on it again. But then I, you know, ended up they ended up switching that system because it just I think it was scaring people a bit too much so then now it's everyone's got a lap belt that you have to tighten well, down so you, you they don't have that it? Isn't same it now is it the guardians of the galaxy thing now did they change it or is that no it's else? still it's still that's going to be somewhere else i think they're doing that at epcot they're building is it, it now. okay yeah epcot's changed by the time you get a chance to come out you're going to be rather shocked they they tore out the 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 that huge fountain that was um at the front of of the park like you know where the where the really when you first walk in where the wow, uh, it's the been a stores while then. are okay yeah right they, they tore that out they put they're building something there i don't know what it is and um and then guardians of the galaxy is i you know i think it's epcot you know the disney the disney experts are going to be really mad at me for not knowing this stuff but i think <laughs> i think it's at i think it's at epcot they're they're yeah they're putting some you know marvel attractions there right. to, it is you know, that to, is going to be in Epcot land right I, I yeah. do know that they're going to be a Marvel thing you think I think you are right I I, so I don't know why I thought that I read that they were going to do something change up Tower of Terror to something else but no uh, it's it's still exactly the same yeah really okay and they have a Tower of Terror at uh, California Adventure in in Anaheim do you remember in space but just want to get back to Space Mountain before we go on to the other rides that we do you remember the Space Mountain here Oh, I don't. I guess it's not in California. You said right, so it's only here. But they, no, they used Space to be, Mountains. Space Mountain is in in California. Oh, they do have that. Okay. Yes, they do. There used to be something like for those that did not want to go on the ride over here. There used to be like a a walkthrough thing on the side of Space Mountain too, where you got to see like all these fascinating, like you know, behind the scenes looks, and you know, looking at cities of the future. That if you did not want to go on Space Mountain, there was a walkthrough like tunnel on the side. Wow, I and don't. Not, yeah, I don't, don't remember, remember that. that. And I'm trying to call and I'm, I'm trying to look what it was. I've been researching, you know, online about that, and I can't find it. But I remember vividly walking walking through that side 
thing for those who didn't want to go on, which was me a lot of the times. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm also going to send in some of my pictures too. That you'll know, we'll, we'll see some of my pictures. We can look through them with the with the podcast. But uh, I don't. I think my three favorites now. I well, it depends which park. Magic Kingdom. I must do Haunted Mansion. That's oh yeah, that's a must every time. Uh, I still I still love that. I still that's absolutely my favorite ride. And I think Pirates and Peter Pan. Peter Pan's like such an old ride, and I still <laughs> love it. <laughs> I, I I have to agree with you. I Peter Pan has fascinated me since I was a kid. Flying over that miniature city, I've always been obsessed with right. miniatures, and 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 it, it was just Shame. so. Oh gosh, it was so well done, and just uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's 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 like a three minute ride, Peter Pan. It's like oh really, yeah, it's, it's super like short. Three, it's very short, and the lines are always astronomical the lines are always wrapped around and it's like a, an hour wait and i, I mean i see it because a lot of people obviously feel like you know i do we do but it's like an hour wait for a three minute ride <laughs> and it's always <laughs> mind-boggling yeah. about that yeah no i i had to go on it every single time i went to disneyland or or the magic kingdom definitely that yeah that's that's a must-do ride for sure yeah and all right, so that's so that's that's a magic game. What do you want in Epcot? Which rides are the, are the musts in Epcot? Soren. Soren is fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I I it literally brought tears to my eyes the first time I did it because it it it's so it's so duplicated, like like flying dream experiences you right. have had it, and and I thought, God, this is just this is this is awesome. Well, let that's. Since you mentioned Soren, that's another one. I liked it so much more before the change. I like the California Soren over California more than the world one itself. I do too. I do too. I don't know <laughs> yes. why they did that either. And then they put computer it, graphics in there for like the animals and stuff. It's like, oh no, no, no. no right. No, no. I, I just another one. Why why are you changing it? And I love it. And I still and I get so upset about it. I mean, I'll still go. That's another one that I'll watch on YouTube. The the old one. Because yeah. <laughs> that's the only place that I can find it now. Well, I know and, at first it, it was first um uh introduced again at Cal the, the brand right. new California Adventure Park uh, in Anaheim. And I went there uh, way before I moved out here or actually before I had come to Disney World. Um, so went in having no idea what it really what it was. And it sounded intriguing, but I had no concept. And they really, right. you know, they didn't give you the same kind of warnings. You know, they always seem to introduce these new rides and then find out that people like need a little bit more information because the experience is so disconcerting to them or makes them uncomfortable and they probably wouldn't have been gotten on it if they had known what it was um sure. and i think that happened with soren as well so i had no idea and i and i you you go in and again for those who haven't been there it's a big flight simulator but it's mm -hmm. it's massive it's massive rig that that all these people sit in and then when the ride, the attraction starts, it lifts you up and pushes you out into a 360 degree viewing screen that plays this film of flying. And at the time, yes, it was over famous places in, in California. And I think that's why it started as that, because it was a California attraction. Right. And they, then they transplanted it to, um, you know, to, um, to Epcot and then it was probably too West Coast specific um, for the imagery. Everything about that ride, I loved. I, I just, even the orange scent, you know, when you're going over the oh. groves oh. there too. Oh, that's and just, I'll yeah. Say the, and you, I don't know if there is a bigger Patrick Warburton fan than me. And with, he was the one that introduced you to the ride. You know, he was the uh, one telling you to stay in line. I, ah. I love him. He's, <laughs> I, I think his delivery is fantastic and all his comedic yeah. things. Oh, yeah. And so I, I love just getting to sit there and watch him on the screen before I even went on to the ride. Oh, yeah. So, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of his also. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So let's see. That's one. Um, my other one is at, at Epcot. I, I love, well, I like Spaceship Earth too a lot, but um, Horizons, they did away with it and they got rid of it. And I don't know why they got rid of it. And the building is still there. The building is sitting there empty and you you look into it and you see like 
cha- like folding chairs like in the lobby and uh it's it's so sad wow that it's gone yeah i don't know and, i don't know anything about that ride <laughs> oh you have to look you have to watch it on uh on youtube once <laughs> it's it's really it was a, such a fun ride and my kids my kids were all upset when they got away with the ellen you know the ellen adventure oh they, yeah that was know. fun I, I remember that that was fun and that was fun and uh and now, especially now you have, you know, just Alex Trebek, you know, passed on. That was, you know, that was a huge part of the ride uh, as well. Oh, the yeah. Alex Trebek's Jeopardy segment. But uh, and but the one I, I have to go on is in the Mexico Pavilion. I love the Mexico ride. And that's changed. That's They've changed that, like, I think three times now as well. But, you know, I, I'm half Mexican. I've been, I lived in Mexico for a couple of years. And so we still have a lot of Mexican family. So I just, I love going through that, you know. Oh, and, and I have, right, that's something I have not done. You've not done that? No, you no. Must, you must. <laughs> I will. I promise you. I promise you I will the next time we go. Oh, then you have to let me know. That, they used to be will. like showing all the Mexican streets, you know, all the Mexican street vendors and you know, like little clips of life in Mexico. Then they changed, which I loved. It was so much fun. But then they changed it then to a, a Three Caballeros, which now features Donald. But <laughs> <laughs> so, so I love that part as well. And now I, I think I read that they're going to change it to, um, oh, what's the movie that just came out with <laughs> the Mexican themed one? Oh, oh, it's killing me. It's oh, of- oh, gosh. Why we, we're both blanking on this. Um, yeah, the, yeah. I, Coco. I, I, Is yes. that Coco? I think so. So now I think they're going to yes. change it to uh to that and uh which I, i'll curious to see how it is but i'm going to be really sad not to see donald <laughs> in the in the oh, ride anymore no doubt no doubt <laughs> but it, it is a lot of fun that, that's one of the things that you have that I, I i love to see for me my favorite actually favorite ride period is at disneyland and it's and it's indiana jones themed and it's the same ride that they have here and i think it's called uh, dinosaur where right. you go on an adventure in this like big f- four wheel drive ride. kind of vehicle driving around and it's on a track, but it's really jerky and quite exciting. But I have to say the one at uh, the, the Indiana Jones version of it at Disneyland is phenomenal. And that was always really? the longest line in the park, always. Yeah, they nestled it in. If you if you compare Disneyland to Magic Kingdom here, you've got Pirate, the Pirates of the Caribbean area and you know, somewhere between the Jungle Cruise and the Pirates of the Caribbean, they built this ride because it's primarily underground. So they were managed, they, they managed to get it inside of Disneyland in a really effective way because it's an underground attraction. It goes down and wow. as you're in line for it, it takes you, you can just see the ground rising around you and then you're going through tunnels like, you know, like you're on some Indiana Jones, you know, um, archaeology trip. But um, it's it's just it's it's fantastic, and even though the dinosaur one's very similar, it just doesn't quite have exactly the the same appeal for me. So, yeah, that would be if I had to pick one overall, um, other than other than Peter Pan. I mean, what can I say? It's legendary. Well, the, the, you know, I, I don't think you have to pick because you know you have certain rides that you like at each park. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I don't compare the ones that you know Epcot. I, I put them separate as the ones I do at Magic Kingdom. Like uh, at and like the Hollywood Studios. I mean, the the, the Toy Story rides were incredible at at uh, right now at Hollywood Studios. Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, the yeah, the um, uh, Toy Toy. I can never pronounce it. So funny. Toy Story <laughs> Mania, the arcade, right. yeah, the arcade thing is just one of, I think, the most genius interactive um game ride things that i have ever seen and um my stepson and i are always in competition with each other to see who can you know (laughs) unlock the secrets he's always on his phone double checking to remember how to unlock all the extra points and he always beats me i didn't didn't even think of that i didn't even know you could do that well that's (laughs) that's the thing you know if you if you're in there and you see the high scores like high score of the day people have got three four hundred thousand points and if you don't know what you're doing you can barely top a hundred thousand um, and there's certain things you do, certain ways, certain things you shoot in a certain order on each little window that will 
bring out the real high scoring stuff and you have to learn them and be patient and, and, and make sure you, you focus on that stuff. And I've never gotten anywhere near that. I think I may have gotten over 200,000 once, maybe 225, but that was a, on a really good day when my arm, my arm wasn't tired from pulling on the thing and firing all my plates or whatever, but gosh, it's so incredible. The technology is just so incredible. You know, the right. 3D technology and how that works, it's just from an animation standpoint, blows well, my mind. Well, I'll go back to now. You, you were talking about Toy Story and, and shooting things. I, I do like the Buzz Lightyear. I love the Buzz Lightyear in Disney. I think it's a fun ride too. But I love the ones that came before it. Do you remember all the, the If You Had Wings? And uh, the, then it was the Delta one after that. The, the, it was a similar theme. But do you remember If You Had Wings? It no, was, that, was, that was before my time. It was so it was so much fun. And I guess it was, I think uh, Eastern Airlines sponsored it. And I think once they then they changed it to Delta when uh, Eastern went, you know, kaput. Uh, but, sure. uh, yeah, makes sense. But uh, but uh, it, it was such just a thing about flying around the world. And again, a nothing ride, but it's something that I had so many fond memories of that I miss it. Yeah. And that song. <laughs> I don't know if you know the song. You have to, you're gonna have to play the song. Maybe we could incorporate. I don't know if we we have to be licensing, so maybe not. But that song Probably. just got stuck in your head. Always wow. the if you had wings song <laughs> again and again. Wow. Well, that's like you know another fond one for me at Disneyland was um, Monsanto's Adventure Through Inner Space. I think it was called, and it was in Tomorrowland. And it was it was just like a you know a people mover ride. You just got in and you sat back and just watched the scenery go by. But <laughs> it had the coolest little presentation as as you went into it because it and it always had a long line. I mean, it wasn't particularly incredible, but it was just kind of fun to go through. Um, and when you were in line for it, you would see the line of people going into the building. And as they went in, they had this little animation of a miniature, like uh, like people, everyone has been miniaturized in their seats and they're moving along through, through oh, this thing. Oh, that's so cool. Because the idea, the idea is you get shrunk down to something and you're in a world in right. miniature experiencing <laughs> the, you know, the, the, the real world around you. And it was just really another one of those just very, very cool attractions. And, um, it got replaced by Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <I think. laughs> yeah. Well, the people mover is a must each time. You mentioned oh. that because, yeah. because it just gives you time to sit down for a few minutes, relax, and just take it easy and while you're walking through. And another one right there is the Carousel of Progress. I mean, I do love the Carousel of Progress too, but my eyes close every single time I'm on it. I think it's, I know it by heart. And it's just so hot in Florida that that's always like a good place to get that 15 minute, you know, of AC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have fallen asleep on it myself. I can't believe you're admitting that. That's fantastic. Yeah, you go in. I love in the and, ride. Yeah, you go in and it's so darn cold in there. And yeah, boom, by the end, it, they're shaking me to get out of my chair. <laughs> well, uh, I think I think we're gonna like probably call it here, um, and and the shame of it is that you know we've barely scratched the surface, and we probably should have just done like one park at a time. But there's like you know so many things that we could talk about, and like you know we we, we barely scratched the surface. We've been going over an hour now, but uh, I think we'll have to to do another uh, park a different day and just <laughs> and I have a feeling because we memory. never got to talk about uh, Animal Kingdom uh, at all right, so yeah exactly I think I think uh, we'd have to revisit we'll this have 100% 100% I think that'd be awesome It was great hearing some, some of your memories some of your stories there and uh and I think I think again also I'd like to hear some more of those stories because I think we're also scratching just the surface of that as well of your, <laughs> okay. of your Disney memories Yeah could be could be but anyway, I, again, thank you. Thank you all for listening to uh, Pop Culture Retro. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, please uh, send us your comments, some of your favorite memories, your favorite Disney memories, and uh, we'd love to uh, sh see them. Thank you again for listening. And make sure you follow Pop Culture Retro on our social media pages and also check out our individual accounts. On behalf of Ike Eisenman, this is Jonathan Rosen, and thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to Pop Culture Retro, where no one was hurt during the making of this podcast.